least a half hour. So let's see what we got here. See any slumping? I sanded my pattern a little bit, so now it's a little, it's thinner. Before it weighed a pound and a half, so I'll weigh it and see what it weighs now. I think it looks fantastic. I tell you what, that petrol bond, that's like cheating when you've been using green sand. <laughs> Yeah, just, you do the petrol bond, yeah. It, it holds together so well. That green sand, you're always worried if the, it's so delicate. All right. I'm getting ready to try to make a mold these wings it's gonna be a little bit tricky what I think I'm going to do first I kind of I got some sand underneath there and I kind of built it up <laughs> and then when I flip it over I'm gonna have to dig all that sand back out and create a parting line right about along the edge of the wing I think I think that's what I'm going to do. I watched some uh, videos on how to cast boat propellers, and that's what they did. They said it was just a painstaking process where they had to dig out all the clay. and So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'll record this, and you can watch, see, see how I do this. I've never done it before, so I'm just learning. I had to make some considerable modifications to this mold. And the first couple attempts I tried, it didn't work. It, it, it broke right around here. So I took away quite a bit of material. It's looking a lot 
a lot flatter. So I'm just getting ready to try again here. Another thing I did was to try to kind of polish the <laughs> the sand. Get it nice and smooth. Especially in these spots where it's going to possibly have some problems. I'll try to go over my whole mold and smooth everything out as best I could. For these wings. So, if I could just get it back together and pour some aluminum, let's see what happens. Got some vent holes in there and everything. So, looking good. That one edge over there is a little crumbly, but we'll get that one. Pretty good. <laughs> Just a little 
crappy down here. Looking good to me.